Come on, Josie. Do something cute or something. Josie, you want to talk to me? We'll film it. Can you say, Brendan? Brendan. Oh, you like marbles, Josie? Can you say marbles? Say marbles, Brendan. Marbles, Brendan. Marbles. Sorry. Thank you. Don't mention it. We have to be quiet, Josie. Okay. No. Okay. Think of something to say while I, I adjust the focus. Can you say focus, Josie? Focus. Focus. Brendan. Ah. I forgot. Uh oh. No, no, Josie, Mom. Uh oh, I'm not answering, Brendan. Mom, Brendan, quietly. Mom, yes. Josie, put Mama on the road. What? She'll be fine. You know, more scared than anything else. You see, she blocked off her nasal passages. You know, had to mouth breathe for a while with the. <gasps> That's probably what you heard on the way over. A lot of kids do that the rest of their lives. But she'll be fine. She'll be okay, I think. Thank you so much, Doctor. Don't mention it. And uh, you might want to hold on to these. I guess I didn't do a very good job of watching Josie, huh, Mom? You reacted quickly, Brendan, and that's good. Yeah. Also, you know, I've been thinking maybe she's a little, you know, not... Uh, you know, I mean, why would a normal person put marbles up their because nose? Josie's a baby. Hey, no need for name calling. Look, she just doesn't know any better, Brendan. Well, you know, someone should teach her to know better. You know what I think, Brendan? I think as her big brother, you can teach her some things. Yeah, um, I can. Uh, sure, of course, it'd be easy. Uh -huh. I could do that. Yeah. Like what? Like not to stick marbles up her nose. Yes. How about starting with lesson one? Right. Don't stick the marbles up your nose. I can teach her to not do that. You know, maybe I can I, I can make a teaching video. And, yeah, I can teach her a whole bunch of stuff. And, oh, you know, boy. Here we go again. Uh, Nurse! All right, look alive out there. Come on, everyone. You heard it, Melissa. Look look lively. I mean, have a, have a lively look about you. What are you, Melissa's dad or something? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you looked familiar. Ernest, right? Eric. Yeah, Melissa's a good kid. You know, you got a, you got a pretty good kid there. I call him my little sunshine daisy. Melissa, you idiot! Kick the ball! I bet her mom's pretty, though, huh? She's dead. Wow. Good game, huh? Was she a pretty woman when she was around, you know, on Earth here? She's not actually dead. She ran off with, with some guy. Oh. So how long were they doing it behind your back? Hey, let's talk about something else. Sure. So what do you think your wife is doing with this guy right now? <sighs> I don't know, it's eight hours later there. But, uh, hey, can we talk about something else? So you have a laundry business, right? I'm in real estate. Uh, real estate. So you're rich. Eric. Ernest. No, I'm being earnest when I say Eric. I mean, you have a lot of money. I do okay. I mean, business is good. This is, uh, this is a um, seller's market. Well, that's good because I'm thinking about buying a house. That's good. It's a buyer's market. You should stop by my office sometime. We can talk about it. Well, let's go right now. Shouldn't we wait until after the game? All right, stop play. Lightning threat. Everybody go back to class as fast as you can. Oh, man, I love coaching. Oh, man, look at that place. Swimming pool, sauna, mailboxes with keys. That's what I want. Well, you know, let's get the paperwork rolling and, and see if, if we can't get you pre-approved, because once that happens, the, the most of the work is over. Sounds good. Uh, yearly income? Uh, what is it? Yeah. I don't know. It's, um, yeah, I do all right. You know, I need, I need some kind of figure for the bank. Otherwise, they're not going to uh, pre-approve you. Can it be a lie? It can't be a bold lie. You can exaggerate. You can give a gross income. All right. I think most people would do that. So, um... Yeah, so give me, give me a rough figure. Oh, two million. Okay. You have the paperwork to back that up? I'm uh, making it out right now. <laughs> what about... <laughs> what about savings? Uh, two million. And, um, do you have a credit lines anywhere? Two million. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brendan, uh, yeah. it really seemed to me like you were daydreaming today, uh, in class. I was. I knew it. After 18 years of teaching, I can tell the daydreamers. Uh, that's great, Mr. Lynch. I got a question. You see, I want to learn how to, to uh, communicate with kids. You are a kid. I mean, younger kids. You know, I, wanna, I want to make an uh, educational film. Oh. 
Bitten by the teaching bug, huh? Well, you know, I was about your age when it bit me. <laughs> the teaching bug. Ugh. Bit me. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to teach, though. I want, I want to make a film that teaches, you know. I, I want to show it to my baby sister, you, you know, because she's at a young age, and I figure I can get to her because she's, she's like a little sponge, you know. She's. Oh, you mean like Sesame Street or Mr. Rogers? Right, or, well, yeah. okay, not so much uh, that. I was thinking more along the lines of, uh, you know, Gattaca. Well, you know, a lot of bright colors in music works for almost any age. Well, that's, yeah, okay, that's Except good. for maybe the Paleolithic age. Huh? Huh? It's a joke, Brendan. I mean, that's when the cavemen lived, during the Paleolithic age. Oh, right, cavemen. <laughs> Humor is a great tool for teaching as well. Yeah. Use it. Well, um, how come you don't use it? How come, you, how come you don't use it? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you. Touche, my young student. Touche. Yeah. Uh, anyway, look, look. I just want to know if I get some extra credit on this thing here. Uh, you know, after 18 years of teaching, I can always tell when a kid wants to make an educational film for extra credit. So, so you'll, you'll give me extra credit? Well, I'll give you extra credit if your film actually uh, teaches something. It will. Don't worry. Listen, I don't want this video to glorify violence. What about slapstick? Oh, I, I love slapstick. That's a very good choice. Really? Uh, yes, it can be very funny. It's humorous. Watch this. <laughs> Ow! Now watch this. Right. Ow! Pretty funny, huh? Um, yeah. Oh, what's with this stupid machine? Why the hell won't it go? Hey, McGurk. Uh, having trouble with the fax machine? Is that what this is? <laughs> Alright, let me uh, show you. What are you All doing? Right. The paper goes in uh, face down first, alright? Mm -hmm. And then uh, you dial the number, and then you hit start. What do, what do you have here? Is this a mortgage application? Well, Lynch, do you mind? You know, I let you help me with the facts. That was great. Now leave. Buying a house? Well, I'm going to buy a condo. You know, it's cooler. And I'm going out there later with my real estate agent to look it over, so... Uh... Oh, really? Wow. 15 year or, uh, or 30? What? On the mortgage, 15 year or, or 30? 15 years or 30 years what? You, you're going to have to pay it back? Pay what back, Lynch? It's a loan that you're going to be paying back. I didn't, I'm not taking out a loan. I'm doing a mortgage. <laughs> okay, good luck, McGurk. Look, Lynch, you know, I, I, I don't like you. Uh, well, thank you. However, I'm going to probably have a housewarming party, and, you know, you can come. That's great. Okay, well, I'll, I'll see you at the teacher's meeting later. I'm going to get one of those satellite TVs, so that's a draw, you know, for a party. That's great. Right. Well, I'm leaving now. Before you go, can I borrow $25,000? Hi, Spikey. How's it going? Hey, Melissa. How about a hug for Spikey? Well... Just a little huggy for Spikey. Come on. Okay. Mm. Okay, Spikey, I that's enough. To hug. Spikey, that's enough. Look what I can do, Melissa. Spikey, that's not funny. Yes, it is. Okay, it's funny, but it's dangerous. You need a doctor. Did you call for a doctor? Yes, Spikey shoved some marbles up his nose, and now he can't breathe through it. Um, you, um, shouldn't stick marbles in your nose, Spikey. Brendan, um... Yeah. Why, um, can't... Did we cut? Yeah, we're just rolling. Um, why can't you put marbles in your nose? Because it's dangerous. Brendan, have you ever tried to eat with your nose? I have. Well... If you stick food up your nose, and your nose is connected to your throat. Ew. One time I ate with my eye. Ew, Jason. You're not supposed to do that. Why don't you just use your mouth? Well, I mean, it's so obvious. Um, I read that um, to be truly human is to be constantly exploring. Wow. Anyway. Oh, my God, Eric. Look at all the women. I want to live here. Yeah, don't pee in the pool. Too late. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, hello. How you doing down there? How's the pool? Hey, look out, cannonball, ladies! <laughs> uh, Eric, how many floors up are we? Eleven. Up and down, my friend. Uh, forget the cannonball. Forget the cannonball! <clears throat> uh, they seem to be ignoring me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you, this is going to be great. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Sean. I mean, you haven't you haven't heard back from the bank yet. You know, what the hell with the bank, Eric? I'm going to live in this place, and I'm going to start my new life here. You know, I think we should continue to check out different price ranges. No. 
Forget it. I need this place. I don't disagree. I just say that you need to keep your options open at this point. Do you know what kind of status goes with living in a place like this? Oh, it, it is a very um, prestigious place to live. Say goodbye to the old John McGurk. Eric. Bye. Thank you. Now say hello to the new John McGurk. Okay, and how will I know the difference? Well, I've turned around. That, that indicates the arrival of the But the new John, John McGurk is going to live here, Eric. All right? He's going to have a respectable apartment, condominium that he owns. I'll be a homeowner, and I may grow a mustache. Eric. Yes. John McGurk. Hey, John, what can I do for you? Uh, well, I wanted to know if you heard from the loan people. Or Actually, no, like... I haven't heard anything yet. I was hoping we'd hear something by the end of the day because I, uh, I just moved out of my apartment. Well, 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 what, wait, wait, you already moved? Why would you move out already? I hate that place. So I went over to my landlady and I mooned her. Told her to kiss my big fat ass. See, I, I don't think it's a good idea to leave your apartment just yet. I'd hate to see you stuck uh, without a place to stay, which is what could happen if this mortgage doesn't come through and you... Uh, whoa, 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 what are you talking about, Eric? You don't want to move out before you know where you... Well, move. I just moved out. Yeah, well, you don't want to do what you've just done, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Just to close a sale sometimes can take months. Yeah. John, I don't, I don't want to see you uh, left high and dry. Right. So I made a premature move then. Yeah, I think it was impulsive and premature, and I think... Uh, yeah, you don't have to overdo it, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not... Okay, what, what was fine? Just premature. Okay, premature, have, yeah. Well... My point is, is that um, I'm kind of stuck with the decision I made here. I, maybe I got a little overenthusiastic, but, um, you know, I... Well, All John, I'm saying is put it together by the end of the day. Why don't you pick up a Sari Amunji card? Mm. Mm. Aren't you guys eating? It's great. Um, you're eating ours. No, well, it's great. <laughs> Sergeant Schultz is hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. He's funny. Dad. Yes. Can I go over to the smalls to watch TV? Yes. No. Dad. Listen to your mother. <laughs> Dad, I can't take this. Isn't this a school night? Dad. No, you can go. There's no reason why you can't no, go. No, 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 no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No, you can't. Y I don't want you hanging out with that kid, Brendan. You know, Coach, you're undermining my authority as a parent. Yeah. That's the, the downside. The plus side is I think I love you. It's awful, Brendan, and he smells. You know, I wish there was something I could do to, to help you, Melissa, but my hands are tied, you know. Hey, Melissa, I just used your toothbrush. Oh. I hope you don't mind. Brendan, he just used my toothbrush. What do I do? I let him have it then. Melissa. Yes? Can I use your uh, apricot shower wash? Sorry to interrupt. Uh, uh, Melissa, the call's coming from inside the house. Brendan, is that you? Coach McGurk, how's it going? Well, couldn't be better, actually. Yeah. Melissa, so yeah. what's the what's the word there? Yeah, you know, I'm going to leave no, you two Brendan. alone to uh, chat because uh, <laughs> this sounds important. Goodbye. Oh, he was Kurt. Were you guys in a fight? No. Um. Yeah, I was asking if I could use your uh, body wash. No. <laughs> um. Eric. Eric. Hold that thought. Um, yes. Eric, what the hell are you doing? Get up. I'm, uh, I'm meditating. Are you serious? Yeah. I thought only women did that. I'm doing a boy style. This is my uh, my warrior stance. So you're meditating? Yeah. And what does that do? It uh, relaxes me. It calms me. Oh, well, that's stupid. You should try it. It might work for you. No, I don't think meditation is going to work for me. You know, I, I have different ways of relaxing myself. <laughs> <laughs> You want to give this a shot? I don't know, Eric. That's, uh, I, I don't think I could sit like that, you know? I mean, I have uh, really thick legs. Sit like I'm sitting. No, I'm not going to do that. Give it a shot. You just... All right, I'll give okay. it a shot. Sit like I'm sitting and, and, and take a deep breath in. And right. as you're letting it out, go... Oh. Oh. Whoops. Dad. How much longer do you think Coach McGurk is going to live with us? Well, you know, it's only been four hours, Melissa. I think we, we've got to give him at least a day. Hey, Eric, where's a plunger? Oh, no. <laughs> this thing is messed up. Is he in my car? So I would like to, uh, to, uh, I would like to watch the tape, and I, I welcome your feedback to, to a point. Don't overdo it, because I'm sensitive about my work. Just as I'm sure you wouldn't want me making fun of 
your sweater or your haircut over there? Uh, Brendan. Or your lisp? No. Okay. Uh, Brendan. Well, I'm, Brendan. I'm, a, I'm about to Brendan. put Let's it on. on with the film. On with the film. Hi, I'm Spiky McMarbles, and this is my nose. And when I'm feeling lucky, I use it like a hose. Spiky, that's not right. Don't stick marbles where there is no light. Spiky, I'm Dr. Teacham. I'm going to have to operate to get the marbles out of your nose. Dr. Teacham, is Spiky stupid because he puts marbles up his nose? Yes. No. He uh, just hasn't learned not to do it, but... He might be a little stupid, too. Spiky, why do you put marbles in your nose? Because I can't hold them between my toes. <laughs> Spiky, you should keep marbles in this pouch. I'll stuff that bag right in my mouth. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> hey, kids, take it from me, Spiky McMarbles. Don't stick marbles in your nose. Bye for now. Bye, kids. Bye. 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 Brandon, this has got to be the worst movie we've ever... Don't put marbles in your nose, put them in there, do not put them in there. Don't put marbles in your nose, put them in there, do not put them in there. Don't put marbles in your nose, put them in there, do not put them okay, in uh, there. So, so tell me, at what point did you get the urge to stick marbles uh, into your nose? When Spiky told me not to. Brendan, I'm sorry. I, I know you were counting on me and stuff, but I had to find out for myself, and I'll tell you something. It was great. I reckon I'm dying up here. It's like a sauna. I can't live like this. But, you know, it's, it's small, but it's also... Crappy. I was going to say cozy, but... I mean, there's no pool, there's no women. I'm sweating like a pig. It's a fixer-upper. It's a piece of crapper. Hey, let's check out some more places. All right. You know, this this place is not that bad. A little paint, a little more paint. No. Paint the windows. Yeah, Eric? It, it, you know, it could look like it was just painted. <laughs> Eric? Yeah? Why are you laughing? I don't know. I guess it's a bad sign when, when your realtor's laughing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, this is nice. Well, I, I told you we would find something. This is actually very nice. What, what, what did they say was wrong with it? A small kitchen fire. So it needs a little work, I'm guessing. Probably some, some new wallpaper. Mm -hmm. But it's really quite nice. Huh. Wow. Eric, do you check these places out before you bring... I don't want to do your job for you, but... This is not one you want to bring people around to anymore. Yeah. I don't see the educational value in the film, Brendan. I'm wait, wait, sorry. wait! You don't see the, I, <laughs> you don't see the educational value in, no, in this. I no, I don't. I'm I'm sorry. There's no extra credit on this. I'm sorry. But what about all the work I did? The video did not teach kids so, yeah. not to put marbles in their noses, Brendan. And in, in fact, I spent the rest of the day pulling marbles out of their noses. If you remember. Do you know what that is like? Well, maybe they had... Look at my hands. Well, maybe they had them in... Look, look, Brendan, if, if you want to make a truly good educational film... Uh, no, 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 forget it. What? I, I, I don't know. Look, look, what are you going to do with all those marbles? Probably uh, donate them somewhere, uh, that's all. I'm, I'm not going to put them on my nose, if that's what you're thinking. Is that what you're thinking? Yes. You're wrong. I'm not. All right. Uh, you don't mind if I take them, then? I'm just going to take them. Just take them. All right, just I will. Take I will. Nope. I'll take them. Leave two. Eric, I just want to say thanks again for getting my landlady to take me back, you know. Well, you're more than welcome. I'm sorry it was so so much money. Are you sure you can live with that? No, but it doesn't matter. I'm not going to pay it anyway. But that was fun when we were looking for houses together. Yes, it was. Yeah. I remember that condo we looked at? Yeah. With the pool. That was fun. <laughs> I'm still laughing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I should get going now. No, you know, you have a fun way of showing people houses. Mm. Uh, Thanks. Well, I should get going, John. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll see you around. I mean, I know where you live. Sure. The next time you want to try to buy a house again, let me know. Okay, how about next week? Sounds like fun. Really? You need some uh, help there, McGurk? Well, I can do it, Lynch. Oh, is that another uh, mortgage application? Yeah, I'm thinking about buying a couple more houses. Oh, great. The market's good, huh? Oh, yeah. In fact, the market's so good... 
I was thinking of buying the market. You're being sarcastic there, aren't you? No. Wait a minute. That was sarcastic. It's a copy of a lease. Oh, so you decided not to buy? Yeah, that's it. I, uh... I decided not to buy. You couldn't find anything you liked, I guess, huh? Yeah. Well, well wrong way, McGurk. Let me, let me have it. Hmm. Flip it around like this. All right. Wow, expensive rent. Where, where are you moving to? Well, actually, I'm not moving. This is my old place. My landlady raised the rent a bit, you know? That's too bad. Well, tripled it. You know there are laws that say you can only raise the rent by a certain percentage. So what's your point? My point is that maybe you can use the law to your advantage. Oh, please. What's that, a marble? Uh, no, it's for, um, wow. How did that get in my hand? Lynch, why are you carrying around marbles? Gotta go. See, Josie, that's a hospital. You were in a hospital. Member hospital? Member hospital? Can you say hospital? Can you say that? Hospital. Br Brendan, Hosp Brendan, maybe we should just watch the video, please. Oh, okay. Good. One, look, mom, two, mom, look, three. look at Josie. She's learning, Mom. So Isn't am it? I, Brendan. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mom, can uh -huh. you say, put a cork on the wine because I think you've had enough to drink? Oh. Can we say, a glass of wine a day is very, very good for can you? Can we say, lunatic? <laughs> lunatic. Brendan, can you say, ow, bullseye? Yeah. Don't put marbles in your, don't put them in there. Do not put them in there. Don't put marbles in